<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. And of course, that was just the break we had to take, of course, mm -hmm. to really tease you about what is going on in the world of trending. Our first trending stories, of course, the first thing that happened yesterday, and a lot of people were not anticipating it, but this was a global phenomenon. It wasn't mm. just a Nigerian phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Facebook apologized for the outage of their app because you know that it's a combination of WhatsApp, um, Instagram, and Facebook. Facebook and it was just yeah. then I realized that this one man controls literally these three platforms. I think yeah. there's just one server that connects all, all of, of these them. three platforms, and it was down for literally six hours yesterday. Fam, let's just add seven. <laughs> <laughs> because some phones, you know, before they realize that it's back up, it just take another hour. <laughs> oh so, but that thing was like a lot of people thought that maybe it was a personal thing. Stay refreshing. Some of them up, uh, uninstalled and reinstalled their <laughs> apps, thinking that maybe something was wrong. Or was it, is it a bug? Is that a, a site I opened? Mm. You know, it, it was it, it was kind of scary. You know, a lot of people, a lot of things went through our minds or some people's minds because we're talking about it. And someone was like, ah, is this something that's happening internet-wide? Right. Is someone trying to break into our, hack into our systems mm. or stuff like that? Is this like a case of um, national insecurity or mm. something? You know, but it just tells us how, how much we depend on these social media apps and how we've channeled all our energy into it that we don't, some of them can't even be taken, taken away you from know, it. For me, it's the fact that a lot of people, <laughs> if we're sort of all of them on this table, we are all trying to make money. Missing. From my question <sighs> is, imagine if this was a thing that took place for literally one month, like the way we had the Twitter ban, and for maybe three, four, what would happen to people's livelihood? That's what I'm saying. I, I didn't even know, mm -hmm. honestly, that, that there's just one server that carries both, and it's obviously one person one owning person. all of this, because, of course, merging WhatsApp with... Because um, everything is connected. Facebook if, if, merged with Instagram. You know, yeah. WhatsApp is one major social media platform that everybody uses. Even your grandma in the village. Ah, ah, F me. Now WhatsApp. That's that WhatsApp, <laughs> you know? So for me, for, for this yeah. to have happened yesterday, it just shows that, I don't know. Uh, things, are, things are changing. So now we, you see the same way when Corona happened, the Corona hit, a lot of people had to look for other means to communicate. They're using Zoom and all those other apps to have meetings and conference calls and all. Now, this is another opportunity for you to not put all your eggs yes. in one yes. basket. Yes. For those doing TikTok, well, those, this is not even like an avenue to, have, um, to advertise apps. These are things that we are all used mm -hmm. to, okay? Mm -hmm. So look for other means of communication where you don't have to be, um, you know, your, high, your hands don't have to be tied, yeah. especially when something like For this even business happens. owners, if you have a newsletter, look for a way to be able to reach out to your customers. If, for example, now you had to make a delivery of almost one million naira, and look at what happened yesterday. People lost business. About $9 million, that was what he lost in terms of business, mm. in terms of the profit from what happened yesterday. Yes, so there are lessons to be learned from this, yeah. honestly. It's, it's just what it is. But we also need to decentralize our, especially with the Instagram platform that a lot of people make money from. from influencers, bloggers, yeah. a lot of us kind of make money from this. But Brands, you also need to take note because it's yeah. not just those. Because I'm sure some of them had scheduled time to post on certain things for brands and, and brands that have paid already. So I'm sure, I, I, I can imagine what, what was going through the brands' minds and all of that. But let's just, you know, yeah. it's just an eye opener. Another thing has happened now. We are now looking, everyone is looking for another way. In fact, for me to communicate with the producers sometimes, I had to send emails. True. It was just yeah. Google email that was working and a few other, and a few other channels. Channel to call connection. wasn't even that easy, too. It was like, it was now a general thing, you know. Mm. You couldn't be charged properly. A lot of things were just slowed down. So. Okay, I mean, that's hopefully will not happen again. Hopefully, but uh, never to If you happen, no, go and download <laughs> that chat, Body, Body Why is Biz. <laughs> Anyone you know, I, I don't know if those ones are apps, I just mentioned something, mm -hmm. but look for another means of communication with uh, every other person. Now, now we'll go back to the old way of communication, which is phone letters. call. Letters. Letters. Stephanie. Our post office working. Yes, P.O. Box. I remember my P.O. Box. Yes. I know the P.O. Box number, <laughs> but is it working? <laughs> is it working? Okay. It still works, I guess, because people do these with postal services. But anyways, okay. let's move to our next trendy story. I love how God uses me to show up. That's Lake, of course. You know that Lake, um, when he was, uh, his time last year, was really a really great moment for mm. the win for him. But he's saying, looking back, reflecting about one year, has been like enormous blessings for him. For him, yeah. And I think, of course, we can still relate to that because, I mean, the deals kept coming in, in the, the music he was pushing. The music. So, I mean, a lot of things really happened for Lake. I'm so proud. I'm very happy, happy for his music too because I, I feel like he didn't lose it the way some other artists that had music mm. well i won't mention names but <laughs> yeah it, 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 he kept at it and he had other songs coming out mm. back to back from his label he even said tried doing a reality show you mm. know he, he was 
practically involved in a lot of things. He didn't fade out in one year, so that's impressive. Yeah. Um, some wouldn't have lasted that long, you know. Yeah, so just a win, all win, win, all is a win, 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 win for him. On every side. And it's still a win-win. I think it's his personality that is pushing it forward because he has a great personality and character. I think that's it. I think brother, just use hum has to be humble strategy. Yeah. I remember there was one episode of the Big Brother Africa, and the person, I think the first or second time, Pua, who won, her own strategy was, well, she came from a poor family. Mm. That's how she won. won. She won the mommy. Just like that. Like, say that where is she now? Ah, I mean, she... Oh. Can people can not be winning our money and just be disappearing to see hey, use our car and our millions to be sending in wristwatches? What's wrong imagine? with you? Expect you? You need to be doing stuff. That's why you won. We need to see you doing stuff. Please. See, I'm saying I'm doing stuff, but it's not in the way you expect them to be doing uh, it. Let's know. We can't just disappear. Well, some people disappear. Some people still make it in the industry. But you know? yeah, let's maybe they go and come back big. Let's, let's, yeah, we're maybe. Still for maybe. Miracle. All right. So which one do I go? She miracle one. Miracle. I remember miracle Basically. now. Basically, he's a pilot. Uh, Making money now. Uche mm. Madwagu slams Blessed CEO for criticizing white money's win. Apparently, Uche Madwagu, Madwagu has slammed Blessed CEO, who said that the show was boring, it was predictable, no excitement. And he said that if white money winning Big Brother is not enough excitement for you, then you need serious 30 days mounting prayers. Learn to rejoice that rejoice. Cloud chase is not nutritious. Once again, congrats to white money on one hand, and Satan chase just chasing clouds. Yes. Um, yeah, because everyone is entitled to their opinion yes. about the show. Yes, I agree. That's what Uche it is. is just chasing clouds. That's even what if, it is. Even if Blessing <laughs> said that, the truth is a, a lot of people share the same opinion that it, it was a bit boring. Like, to be honest, a lot of people share the same opinion. Because people are even wondering what's going to happen in the, at the reunion when they come together. Are they really going to fight? Hmm. I know. It, you, I don't know. You get the drama wasn't as, you know, dramatic that you'd be expecting. Ah, we can't wait for a reunion. No, this might be a happy, happy reunion because there wasn't really a lot of clashes. But there were a lot of love triangles. They cannot yeah, wait for a love triangle. Yeah, you know, just the love triangle. But there wasn't any <laughs> hate or any, except the fight that this girl had. Um, the what's her name? Angel. Is it Angel? Yeah. Had you know? Those are the people you think that may have something. But now, Perry and this guy is You know what I would think? I think there are certain parts of the show that they did not show us. What's that? Um, Cloud, they must have cut out all the scenes that were. So I'm sure they will bring it back. And then those are things. Mm. Look at what happened with um, Eric, as Erica, Erica and Lacon. Then later, I saw them in <laughs> dancing in the club. So they no, will they always. They settled now before they, they settled. The so I'm sure they will look for something to dig up. There will always be something to dig up that let's we hope, did not see hope. at the reunion. Let's okay. Just hope. I know that some had to be broken, Sha, because those that had boyfriends and husbands that were involved. And then they'll come and tell them how they can never even, how did you ever think that I would even ever date you? Yeah. I know that that statement will come up at the reunion, and I can't wait for who it's going to, to be see. said to. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to our last trending story. Joe Boy is issuing warning to fans. Apparently, there's a, with the trends on TikTok, and if it's, when your song is trending, there's always something that goes with it, like the Ayashaya and the dance. And apparently, mm. with Joe Boy's people, it's a viral challenge where fans were seen pouring harmful things on their body like ah. bleach somebody was drinking that i'm like what is going on so he seemed very displeased with them and has urged his fans to desist from the Point challenge anything, yeah. i understand that they need to support your fans but don't be stupid about this <laughs> and do things that can kill your no it's true that can hurt you that can hurt you why would you be drinking bleach bleach and death hole. disinfectant at least don't just know was granite <laughs> Because I saw it, and he was like, ah, Joe has one does not be pointing anything on our body. Uh, our grand oh, poured palm oil on our body. Why? And I was wondering, he said, he says, I appreciate the love alcohol is getting, but stop pouring stuff on uh, your body. You have to put that food stops. Put, are you not cooking at home, ladies and gentlemen? Are you not cooking beans? Because you need palm oil for beans. In this economy, in this where economy. one um, bottle of granite oil is ah. almost one five. I'm sorry. It's one, one liter. One, one, one liter. liter. Like a one five. And you're pointing to your head just like that. Ah, you're a millionaire. <laughs> and you're coming to Instagram to be doing challenge. You don't need any money from... I don't even know what people are thinking. I, I, I don't just, know. I just, I just think it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Challenges are there to make things go viral, mm -hmm. which is great. But when you see that it's, it becomes... Negative. Look at the crate challenge. When I saw that crate challenge... I knew there was something wrong. I knew there was a problem with that challenge. And whoever decided to do it, to do it at their own peril. Yeah. It will be hospital with... with it will be even tired. <laughs> they are tired. They <laughs> just cut off. You see, they don't need to try and heal. They just, just said they will cut off. off. Because you don't have, they don't have time again. Yeah. Many people so are we, injured I think we need day. to be careful of the challenges we do. If it's good, but once it's 
borderline rubbish and almost like leading and to I, death. And I'm glad that he came out to call it off. Some people will just leave it. Uh, Nadia Sabino, <sighs> you know, I think he, he knows the influence that he has over his fans mm -hmm. and it's great that he came out to talk about it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. another story for another day. The influence that um, a lot of these um, celebrities have, have over and they don't fans. even know. But, yeah. but, but I think we're done with trending. Yes, we are. And um, we've got uh, our guest is here, right? Richard, yeah. will you tell us who our guest is? Tolo, you tell us who our guest is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't stay. Right we'll after this break. break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll take a break to stick around. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back.